No, if you are hinting at uh, Article 35A or 370, let me put it very clearly. Even those who speak, our, as far as our stand is concerned, it's very clear. We have heavily invested in Jammu and Kashmir. We lost our founder leader, Shama Prasad Mukherjee, on the soil of Kashmir, following the same ideal that we follow today. But even those who differ with us conveniently forget that even the protagonists of Article 370 or 35A, which most prominently included Jawaharlal Nehru, were of the opinion that it is going to be a temporary provision. It was written in the Constitution of India and in the Constituent Assembly in order to pacify the reservations of some of the other members, including Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Nehru said, ye ghiste, ghiste, ghis jayegi. This is a phrase which was used by him. It is part of the record of the Constituent Assembly of India. Well, I made a plea this uh, on the floor of the House also. I wish a day comes when we decide a minimum voter turnout to accept the membership of a candidate for Lok Sabha so that we don't have to deal with such 8% walas. As far as Nehru is concerned, I think it would suffice to say that if only, if only Nehru had allowed his number two in the cabinet, the then Home Minister Sadar Patel, to handle Jammu and Kashmir in the same manner as he was handling the other princely states, including a difficult state like Hyderabad. The history of not only Jammu and Kashmir, but the entire Indian subcontinent would have been different.